Hi, I'm Tim Molak, head of school here at Woodside Priory, a Benedictine Catholic school in grades six through 12, co-educational. And we're a small school by setting and philosophy. We're about 30 minutes south of San Francisco and about 30 minutes north of San Jose. We're right in the middle of Silicon Valley. At the Priory, you'll find a safe rural community that's got a great advantages and great access to every part of the Bay Area, which is one of the finest culturally diverse, educationally enriched, strategically innovative and exciting metropolitan areas in the United States and certainly in California. At the Priory, we believe in these Benedictine values, spirituality, hospitality, integrity, individuality, and community. Our values are timeless, our community is very real, and we feel our vision is far-reaching to all the kids that come to us. We welcome young people into a community where they feel uniquely known and loved. Priory students are free to take intellectual and creative risks in their classrooms or outside of that, to discover their passions, whatever those may be, and to grow in heart, mind, and more importantly, the soul, their spirituality and their faith commitment. We are a vibrant, friendly mix of local and international students, day students and boarders, parents and teachers. We're a place that's serious about learning, but we also believe that school can be fun, and we hope it is for many of our students. We've got a brand new stream building in the works. We've just completed a Benedictine classroom for the upper school. We've added Tinker Labs. We've got a school iPad program, and our robotics club recently won the Silicon Valley Robotics Competition. We seek to develop each student's individual spirituality within his or her family's faith. We're proud to be a religiously diverse community where, as St. Benedict taught, all are welcome with honor and respect. Again, I want to welcome you to the Priory. Hi, I'm Brooks Royals, and I'm a senior here at the Priory. Hi, I'm Miranda Prince, and I'm a sophomore at the Priory. I'm also a dorm residential student. Welcome to the virtual campus tour of the Priory. We are here in Father Aegon Plaza, which is a memorial for Father Aegon, one of the founding monks of the Priory. It's a great space where students can congregate. Let's head to the PAC. We're standing here in the lobby of the Performing Arts Center. It also serves as an art gallery from time to time. This month is featuring artwork crafted by some of the Priory faculty. This is Priory's main stage where plays and assemblies are held. There are three plays throughout the entire year, the all school, middle school, and high school play. In the past, we've also hosted TEDx events. The audience seating also folds into the wall to create a much larger space. There's also a black box theater where smaller events are held. Let's go check out the gym. We provide a bunch of sports like soccer, basketball, volleyball, water polo, cross country, and last year our boys basketball team won CCS. It was an exciting journey for our Priory Panthers. Every year the Priory holds a high school dodgeball tournament in which students and faculty compete for bragging rights and a trophy. We also have a weight room and athletic trainer that works with all athletes on the teams. We'll make our way over to the other facilities. This is Schilling Square, the heart of campus. It's a huge open space where the students can gather and talk. My friends and I like to play ping pong and spike ball during our breaks. When the weather's nice, teachers allow students to go out and work. In 2015, Priory added 10 new classrooms and a faculty building to the campus. Despite the new classrooms, there's still quite a bit of history. 
the redwood on the outside of the classroom was taken from the old faculty office building. The interiors of the classrooms foster student initiative and intellectual growth. The desks are modular and mobile, and encourage collaboration among peers. We recently added two Tinker Labs for both middle school and high school as an extension to the classroom environment to allow students to explore, experiment, and apply their knowledge. Students work on long-term projects and are provided with materials and tools to experience collective creativity and collaboration. Our student body represents over 28 different countries, including Hungary, Austria, Nigeria, and China, among others. This is the Molex Student Center. Within it is the ARC, academic resources, college counseling, counseling, and the campus chaplain. The counselors are here for the students if they encounter academic or personal struggles in their time at Priory. In the college counseling department, we have two full-time college counselors, one full-time personal counselor, and a full-time academic counselor. This is our dining hall. The dining hall has Hogwarts-style tables instead of round tables to help build more interaction with the community over meals. Priory offers a unique boarding program for students from all over the world. There are two dorms. Each dorm includes a lounge, a rec room, a study hall, bathroom, and of course bedrooms. We'll hand it over to some dormers to show you around. Hello, I'm Derek Obarka. I'm a 10th grade and I'm from Mango Park. Hi, I'm Matthew Bagu. I'm from Hungary and I'm a junior. Let us show you the boys' dorms. Let's go. This is a common place for kids and day students to hang out after school. We have fun here after school. And we have a nice piano. In the rec room, we play ping pong, video games, study, and get some snacks and drinks. The typical room looks like. Each room has two beds, two tables, two chairs, or you can exchange your chair for a nice comfy one. Yeah, we study here, have fun. You are paired up with a roommate that you live with for a whole year. Um, I've been rooming with my roommate for two years. You can also pick your roommate if you're a returning dormer. And my roommate is from China, and it's really good because I can learn about different cultures. Welcome to the kitchen. When we get hungry, we cook here, especially noodles. Being in the dorms is a fun way to make friends and meet new people from around the world. I love living in the dorms because we can spend a lot of time together and meet people from different parts of the world. We have several activities on the weekend, so we always have something to do. Hi, I'm Kalani Wiggins. I'm a senior and I'm from Sacramento. I'm Vivian Chong and I'm a freshman from Taiwan. Welcome to the girls' dorm. We're here to give you a tour. So here in the lounge, we usually have house meeting every week. And also we spend a lot of time with our friends playing video games, watching TV, or do homework. Now we're gonna show you one of the rooms. So in a stereotypical room, there's usually two beds, two desks, and two dressers. Um, you can also uh, bring a mini fridge, but only one, one mini fridge per room have food in here, you can also decorate it as much as you want to. And our room is a really good place to hang out with your friends, and we usually spend time in other people's room too. So here in the girls' town, we usually like baking cookies out through study hall or making ramen. And also a lot of baking clubs host events here, and it usually smells really nice. 
I love the dorms a lot because everyone's like a really close family. I was really afraid I'm gonna miss home, but after I come now, when I go back to Taiwan, I believe I'll miss this home away from home a lot. The Priory has a sustainability program that is centered around our Franklin Garden. The Franklin Garden grows fresh produce like tomatoes, peppers, and pumpkins. Our sustainability coordinator also helps the school collaborate with the wider community to lessen the Priory's collective environmental footprint. Community service opportunities can be completed by students in the garden. Our dedication to sustainability is apparent at Priory with solar panels installed throughout the campus. There are also compost and recycling bins for us to use. A state-of-the-art green roof on our performance hall, an idea first suggested by the students, cleans rainwater and improves energy efficiency. We've made our way to the top of campus, where the art building stands. Here we offer classes such as ceramics, metals, art history, and drawing and painting. The story poles you see indicate the proposed design for a two-story building that will support science, technology, robotics, engineering, arts, and math, or STREAM. This is Church Square, where most of the middle school classes are held. Here are some middle schoolers to show you around their space. I'm Donya, and I'm in seventh grade. I'm Justin, and I'm in eighth grade. And this is Church, Church Square. Square. I have witnessed the beautiful renovation of the middle school campus. It has changed a lot over the past three years. It's basically totally new. There's new classrooms, new outside, new just a court area. It's half of a basketball court and half of a volleyball court. And it's really fun to play on because it's only available to the middle schoolers. I have taken almost all of the electives so far, such as ceramics, middle school improvisation, wood shop, 3D animation, 3D printing. We also have iPads and we use them in class for projects, homework, and for like typing essays or notes. It's just a great way for everything to be stored in and organization. There's so much that the middle school offers, and it's just such a great experience. This is Priory's Chapel, or our holy space. We have three monks living on campus, but they're more than just monks. They are talented teachers and mentors. For example, Father Martin handcrafted all of the pews found inside the chapel. Chapel is held every Tuesday where students, faculty, or guest speakers come and share their stories. Behind the chapel is the labyrinth, a place of self-reflection for yourself or with friends. Sometimes I walk the labyrinth when the school becomes very stressful. Thank you for joining us today on a tour of Woodside Priory School. I hope that you'll actually be able to come to our campus someday and see it in person and enjoy our Benedictine hospitality. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.